Hello friend, in today's video we will learn how we can design and simulate the health monitoring system project by using Raspberry Pi hardware. So you can see on the screen to measure the heartbeat we have the heartbeat sensor and to measure the temperature we have the LM35 temperature sensor. So before start this project I would like to tell you what we will learn in this video. So we will learn complete hardware connection, we will learn how we can design this project in Proteus software, then we will learn uh, what is the program behind this project and then we also learn how to run this project. So I request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project. So before start this video, first we will see what is the final output of this project so that you will get idea about what you will learn from this video. So let's start the practical demonstration. And you can see on the LCD welcome message is printed. Then after some time you can see waiting for the input. So that means the heartbeat sensor we haven't given the one signal to the heartbeat sensor. That's why it is waiting for the input. It is mean that whenever we give the one signal to this heartbeat sensor that means human, uh, human is present and heartbeat start detecting. So once I give this one signal to this heartbeat sensor then it will start capturing the pulse detected yes. Then pulse not detected. Then I will pulse detected. Then I will pulse not detected. So why there are pulse detected, pulse not detected? That I will de definitely explain in the video. So we have to wait for some 10 seconds uh, so that complete heartbeat is detected and then at the end that heartbeat value and the temperature value will be printed. So right now you can see I have set the temperature value to 40 degrees Celsius. Normal body temperature of human between 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. So you can see finally heartbeat is 100 and temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. Now let's say if you want to change the temperature then you can change the temperature by click on this button up and down. So you can see there are two buttons on this temperature sensor. You can change the temperature respect to your requirement and then again click on this run button. I would like to tell you why there is a heartbeat detector had not, be, had not been detected a signal present on the LCD once we give the one signal here. Because the heartbeat sensor send the one or zero signal once the heartbeat is de detected. So once our Raspberry Pi detect one signal then it will give the pulse detected. Once our Raspberry Pi de detect the zero signal then pulse not detected. So that will be iterated for the 10 second and after 10 second we will get the final heart rate. So again uh, now you can see uh, the temperature value set to the 35 degree Celsius. Now again I run the project. Now again same the welcome message should be there waiting for the input. So I will give the one input again here. So let's wait for the 10 second. So after 10 second you can see heart rate is 100 and the temperature is 35 because I have set the temperature 35. So this is the complete idea behind this project. So I hope you understand the project idea. Now we will see the hardware part of this same project. But I request you please subscribe my channel. Currently you can see I have uploaded more video on the mini video on Raspberry Pi, Arduino, then Python programming, then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career. So if you want to learn something from me, it is free and you have to just click on this subscribe button and all the video, it is it is very unique and you will learn definitely many things from me. I upload a mostly video on Raspberry Pi, mostly video on IoT, then Arduino, there are different types of project I have explained and each project having the programming part. So please subscribe my channel, please support me and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video. So before start the hardware connection of this project, I would like to tell you, so I have already explained the first part of this project in this video, Protease Simulation Heartbeat Sensor with Raspberry Pi. So in this video, you can see we already interface the temp uh, we already interface the heartbeat sensor with the Raspberry Pi. So this is very important, you should first watch this first part so that you can easily interface heartbeat sensor LM, uh, LCD model with Raspberry Pi. Now in, in this current part, we will only see how to interface the LM35 that is the temporary sensor with Raspberry Pi and then we can see the how to combine the LM10, uh, LM35 code so that we can print the heartbeat also temperature on this uh, LCD screen. So it is very important to first watch this first part of this project. I will give you the video link in the description. So please watch this first, first part of this project, do the hardware connection and then come to this hardware connection of the second part. So I assume that you have watched the first part of this project and from the first part you have able to implement this circuit. Now we have to add the temporary sensor here. So how to add the temporary sensor here? Just go to the component mode then click on P and once you click on P just type LM35. So once you type LM35 you can select this LM35 and click on OK and place this LM35 here. 
now you have to give the power supply to lm35 so so if you want to give the power supply to the lm35 just go to the generated mode then click on dc and place the power supply here then connect the power supply to the first number pin you can see connect the power supply to the first number pin now double click on this power supply and give give your voltage 3.3 volt and click on ok after that you can see lm35 having the third number pin that is the ground pin and you have to connect the ground pin here so how to connect the ground pin just go to the terminal mode then click on uh, ground and place that ground here and after that connect that ground to here now the second pin of this lm35 should be connected to channel 1 of uh, of this adc module so how to connect just go to the, again the terminal mode here you can see terminal mode then click on default pin and once you click on default pin place that default pin here right click on this pin rotate 180 degree then connect this default pin to the second number then double click on this default pin and give your name adc underscore 01 click on ok now again you have to connect the default pin to adc channel number 1 so again go to a terminal mode then click on default and place that default pin here and after that connect that default pin to channel number 1 double click on this pin and give your name adc underscore 0 comma 1 so whatever the name you have given to this temporary sensor same name you have to give here to channel number 1 so in this way we completed the lm35 with uh, raspberry pi connection now uh, this is the complete circuit diagram so it I, again repeat if you want to complete this circuit diagram you have to watch this first part of this project the video link given in the description of this project from that project you can able to implement raspberry pi with lcd uh, with heartbeat sensor and adc and from this video you can go with this lm35 temporary sensor now we can see the programming part uh, programming part of health monitoring system project in the first part we have seen the program installation tin line number 203 202 now i have given some extra part here so that we can able to uh, sense the temperature from lm35 and that print the temperature on this lcd so first line for this is 203 so i will not explain this part again because already explained the first part now i i will directly explain from the 203 so 203 you can see temperature sensor is equal to 1 so temperature channel is equal to 1 because of this why, what is the reason behind this because you can see this temperature value temperature channel is connected to the channel number 1 of this adc model so that we have defined here temp channel is equal to 1 now after that read channel temp channel so whatever the value present on this temp channel should be read by this adc and that value should be transferred to raspberry pi so to read the uh, to read the value we use this function read channel then temp channel so after that whatever the value come from this adc that is analog form that we have to convert into degree celsius so how to convert this is the convert temperature functionality so this function will be called and this function is explained here def convert temperature so we pass the value and then we pass the places how much value we require so this is the formula where we convert the adc value into degree celsius so after convert the ADC value into degree Celsius, we are retaining that value to the main function again. So that value again store into temp variable, and then after that we have to print LCD. Uh, we have to print on the LCD temperature is equal to whatever the temperature present on this LM35. So this is the complete idea behind this temperature sensor code with Raspberry Pi, and this already first part is already explained in the first video. now we will see how to run this project so before run this project you have to install the heartbeat sensor library this is heartbeat sensor and you have to install the heartbeat sensor library into your laptop so how to install that heartbeat sensor library also explain in the first part of this project so first part of project is very important to watch before come to this part so once you install the heartbeat sensor library you have to download this health monitoring system project from my google drive link so all the project link given in the description so download all the program file from my google drive link so once you download the program file from my google drive link go to your proteus software proteus 8.9 right click on this software then click on run as administrator then click on yes button then after that click on open project then go to the downloaded folder from my google drive link and then open this file health monitoring system project 
please make sure you should have the protis 8.9 software so once you open this you can see ready-made project will be av available for you so this is the ready-made project uh, now before run this project make sure that you have load the hex file into heartbeat sensor so how to load this hex file double click on this heartbeat sensor then go to this uh, folder the, uh, then uh, load this heartbeat sensor temp hex file so this hex file will be provided in the first part of this video so click on ok and click on ok then after that run this project this, just click on this run button then you can see welcome message printed there and your project start working so this is the complete idea behind this project i hope you understand the complete project uh, and if you like the content please click on the like button and please subscribe my channel